What's up guys? It's your boy John. We're back again here with another video. Today we're taking a look at a Honcho's cluster. Ooh. That has a camera. So it has a front camera you can use. Here it is. It is pretty nice. It's bigger than my current one. I love having a cluster. It has a bunch of there's a USB-C right there with like a reset button. It looks like there's a little speaker. Bottom has the pins very similar to the OEM setup. So that's nice. And then we have the harness that works for both AMD and Intel. So if you have different versions of your Model 3OI, no problem. This camera, which I'll take out of the bag because that's kind of interesting. So you have this little camera and a B mount that gets held by 3M or screws. You just have to remove these panels. It's pretty easy. I'm just gonna use this tool to pry it open. It just comes out. All right, so with the panels all disassembled, front, uh, main bar, the steering wheel column, and I have this part also removed. Now we can work on piecing everything together. Obviously this one goes over there and you would have to reinstall the little, uh, little fabric thing right there. But let's get through the meat and potatoes. This is what's gonna be plugging and powering the brain. So what I like to do is do the big stuff, the hard stuff. So I'm going to take it apart. And it's going to have a really big harness. But don't be afraid because most of this stuff you're not going to use. Why? Because one of it is for Intel and the other one is for something else. AMD. So depending, it's more for compatibility. So let's hook up this wire right here. It has, uh, there's the camera and then some kind of like plug on one end and the other plug is a little white guy here. So you can plug that in, boom. On this end, notice I turned off the screen. You can do that under security, by the way. On this end, I plug in this bad boy, clip it. And we are gonna be installing the front camera, so don't you worry. And this end is gonna be fished on this front main bar. And let's see what we're working with. It's gonna be labeled Intel right here, which is useful. And then right here, it's gonna say AMD. And the AMD one is pretty easy. I'll show you where to plug that one in. So there is a blue one right here that goes behind this red wire. So you plug it in right there. And then you also have this white cable that needs to be plugged in somewhere. <laughs> Uh, I definitely know you, for this one, you need to plug in this right here too. So we are going to do a little splitter action. Uh, kind of hard to do this one handed. And then you want to split that into here. And this should give you the power. All right, I'm gonna use <laughs> set you guys down for a second. And boom, that should do it. All right, with just those two plugs, we are in. Now I still have the screen protector, but let me show you some options when you open the door. It shows the doors open. When you close, the doors close, which is great. And then you can change your settings a little bit right there. But I just wanted to show that everything's powered on and you can do these things. Here's the menu that you can set. Oh, 
follow, I believe, is just whatever the screen is. Do one over here. And when you put it in drive, that's when it switches its mode. Oh, so, here is one of the options. And you can choose what layout you would want. And they also have like its own night mode and stuff. So this one's pretty cool. Uh, okay, so let's get that front camera going. All right, so we are going to be installing the front camera on the Tesla Model Y. This is gonna be an awesome thing. Got the power front. We are going to have to remove some of these screws but it's super simple. So you just pop this panel off by lifting it up, some bolts, they're 10 mils, whole front comes out, then you'll be able to fish that wire. All right, so there are two tents right here, and then two tents in there, but let's remove this cover first. It's held by clips, so you just pull right off. Take this bad boy and I'll put it over here. So popping that off, you also have to pop this off right here too. It is being held by, you guessed it, clips. Because you have to unplug this. And after you unplug it, you can remove these additional bolts. But I have to use two hands. You can see more and the clip for the windshield washer is right here I just use my nails but you might have to use a flat head this will review um, or give you access to more room to fish wires and we, our objective is to fish it through here this is gonna be a little bit awkward but once you have the camera you have this portion right here we're gonna stick it through this grill. Now then use your other hand. You have to pull back this like little flap. This rubber flap. So we are gonna use this wire right here to fish it through this main harness. It's a little bit dark. Let me see if I can increase the brightness for you. A little washed out. See where this big old wire is? Fish the thing through it. You can put it under the flap or cut a little hole. I am going to do, I'm going to kind of pull it back and then just kind of squeeze it in there. So you just kind of push it in there, this little thing. And then here, if you just kind of fish it down, it will just come out on this side right here. So there's this, and of course you want this to kind of go up. So keep fishing it through, pull it through. Slowly, you don't want to cut the wire. Just so it's enough where you can plug the screen in. After that, you should be able to fish it up here. And for this demonstration, I'm gonna plug it in into here. Now, make sure there's a little notch. Plug it into the correct notch. And now we should have a front camera. I believe you hold this button down. And you can see that we have a camera. Alright, line this up. You need any help? Is that crazy? No, I got it. And we got a little front camera right there. Sweet. So I'm just gonna wrap everything up, do everything in reverse, and you will be fine.
All right, finishing up, we have this beautiful camera. It's actually very inconspicuous. Can't really see it. Now you can see it. But not too bad, it doesn't look like an ice or anything. And the whole reason why is so we can have this front camera. So you hold this button right here, and now it'll switch to the front camera. Very cool. Now the resolution is not too terrible, if I may say so. All right, so you can press left on the steering wheel. Maybe I should show you the steering wheel a little bit too. And I'm, I'm looking at the airflow. It's still, I still have a little vent right here. So where my head is, my head's kind of like right here. And you can still see that vent. I actually don't have it directly below towards me anyways. But yeah, that's for uh, people who are curious. And let me go through the menu. You hold this left. And you'll see all these functionalities. English, time zone, Fahrenheit. And you just use the steering wheel to change it. Oh. Speed limit, if it should, you want to speed, speed sign, I don't really. The less the better for me. And you can also update it. So to confirm, press right on this little knob. It says save OK, and then leave, reset. Now I'm just going to show you some of the UI. You need to put this car in drive or it'll never show like the UI, which is, I think that's a nice touch. So once you put the car in drive, you'll get this interface. And depending on, let's see, the headlights. Actually. All right, I don't know how to go dark mode on here, so never mind. I was going to show the dark mode functionality. Usually when you turn your headlights on, it's enough, but Tesla's too smart, I guess. But to change it, that's, okay, that's not it. I believe it's the hold right, and there's different UIs. We have the first one. Not bad. Now it's clean. Shows the autopilot, shows the battery levels and all that, which is cool. I do wish follow distance using the scroll wheel. You see other stuff like PSI, follow distance. I kind of just want that one right there. Uh, let's check another one. Yeah, this one. I actually kind of like this one. It looks kind of clean. It does show the autopilot speed on the right, left, right there, that zero. And pop, 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 pop. The, the UI does change a little bit. I like that one. And then you have these little circles, which is also nice. It looks cleaner than I thought it would. And honestly, you're gonna be sitting this far back. Now I do wanna see how it looks like in night mode. So you can change it here. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not the best. The UI is not that intuitive. Daytime, nighttime. So here's the nighttime interface. Black levels are actually pretty good. I kind of like that right there. I might just run night mode all the time. I just like more neutral colors. So the other ones are usually like kind of it's not like Tesla white, it's like this beige color. 
This one's pretty nice too. So I'm in neutral right now. Shows you how much horsepower you are putting, which is kind of cool. So all the parking signal stuff is right there. Of course, you can't really auto steer, but when you're moving, you're moving. It actually shows the lights right there, which is cool. Let's see if it, headlights on and off. It's cool. So this is a really tight UI. I'm actually a huge fan. And I mean, if you look at the install, it was actually pretty easy. No cutting was required, plug and play. And if you were interested in this product, I'll leave a uh, links down below in the description and you can use my affiliate code. I get like a small kickback and you get a discount yourself. So if you're interested, check it out.